all to turn to Matthew 6, to the end of the chapter. I'll explain to you all how God will provide. <coughs> we will start off with praying for needs. We can go to God and tell Him anything. He loves us and wants to take care of us. So you don't have to worry about anything. From the smallest problem to the biggest, we can go to God because He is in control. You should go to God first if you have any. As I mentioned earlier, we can go to God for anything, no matter how big the task. You should always go to Him first. Never try to do things on our own because we might create a bigger problem. God is God and He is always in control. You should never be afraid to bring stuff to God. God knows everything about you, how many hairs are on your head, and everything. If he knows everything about us already, why should we be afraid to bring stuff to him? Matthew 6, 31 says, take, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where, wherewithal shall we be clothed? This verse is a perfect example of not being afraid to bring stuff to God. God knows about our problems. He can take care of these things without us asking, but he tests us to see if we do the right thing to trust him. You can wait ten years for something to happen, and God will know, but he won't do anything until we trust him. I don't ever know who doesn't know, because he knows everything. Matthew 6, 32 says, For all these things that the Gentiles see, for your heavenly Father knoweth the need of all these things. God also provides in perfect time. You might, be probably, you might probably be praying for a family member to be saved for 10 years, just waiting. <coughs> don't get impatient, because God has a perfect time for that person. Nothing happens without God knowing. One more way God provides is miraculously. God likes to do things in a unique way, and this way for us can sometimes be unexpected. No matter how God provides, it will end in just the right way. In New Orleans one year, a sickness spread over the whole city. The sickness was so bad, about 25 to 50 percent of the people were dead. One day, a man was out for a walk. He stopped when he saw a boy lying in the grass. The man then stopped to ask the boy what he was doing. He found out that the boy lived in a nice house with a mother and father and siblings who were now dead due to the sickness. The boy was left alone with no food and no family. The boy then said to the man, right before my mom died, she said, God will provide for me. Now I am waiting for him to take me home. The man's heart was touched by the boy's story so much that he said to the boy, you will be taken home. Come with me and I will raise you as my own. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, and supplication, and thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. No matter how great or small, God will provide. 